Hello YouTube, this is the Avenging Crusader and we are back for episode 48 of Let's Play Europa Universalis 3 as the Henza. And we are here at Lubeck with 10 soldiers and they are looking fine, I must say. And why are they looking fine? Because they are stable. For the first time since 1532, I believe it was, we are at positive stability. And it won't go up again for three years, but who cares because we are actually positive. So we can actually re afford to reduce our treasury a little bit so that we're just at zero. And invest a little more in stability even. That will help us get done a month faster. So that's exciting. Last video, basically all we did was we sent out more missionaries. We terror... Uh, well, I actually was going to say terrorized more people. We didn't actually go to war with anyone, so we didn't terrorize anybody. But we were attacked by lots of terrorists in the form of revolts, and we put a lot of those down. We have the man here going to Cherokee, and we have two armies in South America, one here, one farther down in Serenos, and we do have an island army that's been putting down insurrections on the islands. Our revolt risks are down quite a bit. Honestly, we're not having too many problems only the locations in North America that we recently conquered are having lots of you know they just want to revolt a lot just for no reason thankfully the ones that are being affected by the national focus in Chiaha are having less revolt risk they have uh, two uh, removed from minimum and total revolt risk which is awesome Although actually in Chiaha it's rather high because we have missionaries active and that increases the revolt risk. And we actually finished off the South American coastline. We have a colonist going to Banda Oriental and he will most likely succeed. There's only 500 colonists, 500 natives and they're not very aggressive. We have 99% chance. So I think, I think that will most likely succeed. I believe that that will most likely succeed. Wasn't able to talk for a minute there. And that is pretty much all that is going on, except that Burgundy has continued to expand because France has collapsed as a nation. It is no longer very powerful. England's kind of doing their thing. They're moving a little bit onto Ireland. Norway's still huge, and Iceland has rebels, which is interesting. They were occupied by reformed zealots, which is quite interesting. Norway is still Catholic. Bohemia, man, they're just getting bigger. I'm getting scared of them. Naples is doing fairly well. They took over the Beliers. I believe that was owned by Aragon initially, and they're also moving into Greece, which is honestly not very scary because I'm not afraid of Naples. They have no reason to go to war with me like Bohemia does, but they could still get larger. Castile is doing their thing where they take over Africa. Portugal is kind of doing that as well. And Yemen's big, and that's pretty much all that we know so without further ado let's continue to convert to protestantism because that is what we do but we really can't do it right now because we have to wait for the year to roll around so that we can afford to send missionaries places we don't want to run out of money because a loan right now could probably screw us over big time a navigator who's level two do not care at all yeah that's expensive as hell though wish it wasn't so expensive and we are getting 127 total and 103 overall. Yeah, we're going to get 103 per year. So I can afford to send two more if they're not crazy expensive. We got one there. Where do we need to send one? Pensacola and Appalachi. Appalachi? I'm not sure. Send. Send. There we go. And we were still getting paintings. Paintings are good. Oh my goodness, yes. Look at this. Two stability. Yes. I knew that having all those level 6 advisors would be, would be useful. Look at that, guys. We are back up to plus 3 stability. That is amazing. I'm so happy right now. You have no idea. Alright. So, don't really need to invest too much in land. Stability is good. Government's locked because it's still not very easy to research. Although 
I guess we could increase it a little bit. But what do we want? I'm gonna get that in two years, so let's just leave it that. That's keep, that's fine. And let's do some production because production is useful. But not as much as trade. So should we increase trade or production? I don't know. This one's gonna be done in a year. This one's gonna be done in three years. So let's go ahead and increase this one. There we go. So this one's gonna be done in a year, and this one's gonna be done in a year. So we get both. Delightful. So yeah, that increased our monthly, our uh, overall yearly income by 40 ducats, which is sweet. Oh, and can you go to, or not? Four times it said go to when I clicked on it, and it didn't go to. Oh, and Hedges is back. Hello, allied with Yemen. You have you have a truce with Hassa. Okay. So Hassa owned Medina, and Yemen and them just had a war, and Yemen forced them to release Hedges as an independent state, and they got Medina back. So cool, look at that, they even have their name. That's awesome. I really did not want to get rid of them. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but I just took over. Honestly, I would have been fine with just Mecca. If it hadn't been their capital, I just would have just took that. But they were gone, but now they're back, so all is well. Are we trading in Congo? Yes, we are. We have a monopoly. We have a colonist. Where should we send them? Where can we afford to send them? How about... Good for you. I'm thinking maybe... Oh, what was that? Uh-oh, Portugal's back. Right. Well, we have spies, but we can't afford to send them anywhere. not going to mess with this until later, because that's uh, relatively far away from the European powers. I don't think they can really colonize it too easily. Hmm. But Portugal is in North America. Damn it, Portugal. Isn't your one island good enough? Oh, they're losing. They're, look at that. They're losing people per year. Because they're not paying any maintenance. Interesting. Maybe they're uh, maybe they're in a war or something. Yeah, they're in a war with Karakayondi. All right. So see, Portugal took over this territory here, and they're at war with these guys. And so to finance that, they've decided to not pay their colonies. Coolio. So let's try to get to the end of the year without a serious incident. Oh, good deal. Oh, look at that. Let's try to get to the end of the year, and then we will send some spies to get rid of this, and we'll see if we can't buy an explorer to discover whatever that is and kick him out. Oh, and England's here. Hola, my friends. Guten Tag. That's a bit more appropriate, considering that we are German. We get tobacco. All right, more paintings. We need to not really replace anyone. So I guess we'll just uh, recruit this guy. Because someone will buy him and we will get ducats and that will be wonderful. Like cash. All right, so we have six colonies. Six is easy. I think we can probably afford to get another one. But where do we want it? I'm thinking Manhattan. Because Manhattan has good pay stacks, yeah. Lots of good base tags. We can't see it. Or at least we can see it, but we can't actually reach it. So we'll have to... Yeah, look at that. Those natives are really aggressive. So we can either send all of our colonists there to try to get it into a colony immediately, or we might have to go fight them. I would personally prefer not to have to fight them. Because that's 2,500 dudes, and they will join the settlement once my settler pushes it to 8,000 men. Which will be cool. Alright, so it's November. I'm going to send one spy here. Alright, they're down 100 people. And next thing we're going to do as soon as the year ends is I'm going to recruit an explorer for this guy. Actually, do I need... Huh. What's our mission? Revert Wea. Okay. If it was discover something that was like up here, it probably would have been smarter to just, you know, get an explorer. But I might want to get a conquistador so that we can do some land exploration. 
because the Huron is up here, or the Iroquois, someone of the Native Americans is up here, and we can conquer them shortly. I don't really want to, but I want to do it before any of the other European powers do. And Portugal's just expanding their colonies there, which is not cool. So yeah, I think we're going to go with an explorer. And we're really, really, really going to have to get something done here about Portugal. There's lots of fire, but no, not very much maneuver, which is bad. I would prefer higher maneuver, because I don't intend to fight anyone with this guy. Okay, drop a caravel, please. Thank you. Caravel's going to sit there and kick out pirates. Oh, Manhattan succeeded. And we're out of colonists, but we'll get one shortly. Pensacola's being silly. Care. We can afford to send them a missionary somewhere. We're doing fairly well up here. We got a lot of these uh, at least sent. We got all these converted, which is good. Let's send one to Pamlico and one to Kentucky. And I'm kind of focusing on North America rather than South America or the islands because South America, we've only got two, Ameri two uh, armies for an entire continent. And the islands, we have to ferry people individually if there's revolts. So I'd rather just focus on North America at the moment because it's more, uh, what's the word? It's easier to move between the territories. They're not as spread out as those. So it's easier to do. All right, and let's, uh, are we, okay, we're only losing a little bit. So let's send one more spy here. Failed, damn it. So you come on up here. I just stuck the army on in case we have to... No, okay, so we lost a merchant. Congo got one, but we'll just send another one. But we're running out of cash. Why? Oh, we're suddenly losing two more per month than I thought. All right, there's Massachusetts. How many are there? 377. Okay, not a problem. And you can just go explore... Is there no water in here? I thought there was an entire bay. Oh, it's up there. Silly me. Yeah, just come in here. Discover stuff in there. Yeah, look at that. Alright, you just patrol from there to there. And then you'll discover stuff. And we need to fix the economy. Because I'm a moron, as usual. I forgot that having a colony in Manhattan will cost us cash. So let's send another one. Because we need to get that, not necessarily paid off, but, you know, we do want to get that leveled up all the way as soon as possible. Alright, there we go. Are we making, yeah, well now we're making a little bit, that's fine. We're making grain in Manhattan. Really? I was hoping you would make something useful. Damn it. Where are you trading through? Tuskegee, good. These guys are trading through Liguria. That's not good. Let's get some more paintings real quick. Pensacola. Good job. Yeah, now that we're at plus three stability, there are still revolts, but they're not as likely. Our islands pretty much are not revolting. So basically, we just have a lot in North America because we have a lot of missionaries and we just conquered stuff there. A little bit in South, uh, South America here because they're Catholic. And we're trying to convert them. But overall, the revolts are not anywhere near as dangerous as they were 10 years ago. Exactly 10 years ago. All right, discovered that. That's excellent. And still making a little bit of cash. We, get, we got an election. Do we want to keep this guy? Uh, I would prefer someone with better diplomacy. So let's try and get a better guy. Oh, this guy's awful. Damn it. Yeah, we need to get a new guy as soon as possible. We discovered Quebec. Which is, believe it or not, not colonizable. Yeah, shocker. Puerto Rico. Good for you, sir. And I still want to discover that. Okay, good. Someone bought our scientist for us. Come over here. Stop patrolling and discover Turks Islands, please. That's where my next colonist is going to go, I think. Oh, good, we converted Wea, and we got this freaking crap.
happy England mission here. Can't cancel it for another six days. That's not too bad. Cancel it. And it's 4th of July. Happy Independence Day, America. Fortified Delaware. That is absolutely fine by me. Delaware, you're about to get a fort. Congratulations. As soon as we get money to pay for a fort for you to have. That is the plan. Alright. Stop patrolling. Army's gonna go there. Now, I... Actually, I don't think that they can colonize if you put an army on the province. And I might be wrong there. They're killing the natives, but whatever. So maybe that'll prevent Portugal from colonizing that. That would be nice. I still haven't seen England, which is kind of weird. Mm, might be they're having wars with people. Oh, they're at war with Portugal. Interesting. Oh, they're taking over Portugal's stuff. Look at that. Do we have a reason to go to war with Portugal? No. What about England? No. Well, I'm not losing two stability just to declare war on them. If we had a reason to go to war with Portugal, I would totally do it. Wait, hold up. Do we have... We have quests for a new world. Ooh. Brainstorm. If we send a colonist here to Connecticut, we will border Massachusetts. And because we border Massachusetts, we will get the colonialism causes belly on Massachusetts. Specifically, we'll get it on Portugal, but it will be for that territory. So we can just grab it right from them. We can do it with this island as well. And since they're busy with England, they probably won't even care. Oh, that's tempting. Alright, so we want to send with some place with good chance. We got 73% here, 70% here, 76. Right, but that's mostly bad chances because the natives' aggressiveness is so high. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be clever. So we're gonna go kill all the natives. And at the same time, we're going to have an army ready to seize the colony. Good trade is up. I like it. Got a Narragansett. That is a delightful idea. Kill them all. Excellent. And you can go ahead and kill Connecticut too, because they're mean. Do we have any agreements with Portugal? We do not. Good. That means we don't have to cancel access. And production is up. Do we need to rebalance those? 1550, 1546. Nah, I'm cool with getting a little bit of production. It won't be as useful, but it'll catch up to trade, which is good. Naval still doesn't really need any funding. You can go down to zero. Doesn't matter. Land doesn't really matter at the moment because we don't get anything cool, really, until level 23 with our charge infantry. Caracol, inf Caracol cavalry are pretty useful, but I prefer to build infantry-heavy armies. All right, so we just have to wait for this guy to get here. And we're just dodging Portugal's colony to go to Pinnacook real quick. Pinnacook? Yeah, there we go. And then we're going to actually... Let's look at Portugal's navy real quick. Okay, we can promote cultural unity. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Get rid of cores real quick. And then we need to go... We're still converting. Uh, that was the wrong way. Navies. Where's Portugal? Portugal, where are you? There they are. We have nine ships, and they're all transports. So England probably caught any other army that they had, any other navy, and destroyed them. So we should be just fine, honestly. I don't think we'll have any big naval battles with Portugal. Oh, we get colonial ventures, which means we can get land tech, but less naval tech. Or we can get... More expensive ships, but lower naval tech. Yeah, let's do that. I just won't build ships for a while. That's fine. No problem with that. And we do have cash again. So we're going to send some to Shawnee. There's no dude there. And I'm taking 3,000 guys on the boat to come down here. And we're going to seize St. Bartholomew as well. Alright, we have another colonist, so we might as well hold on to him because... Portugal can seize our colonies the same way that we're seizing theirs. So we're going to save that. 
Oh, it looks like they're done with their war with England. England just randomly snagged Porto. Whatever. We have 74 days, so let's go ahead and increase our spending on our military. How negative will that put us? Negative 3. Yeah, that's fine. We will be absolutely fine with negative 3. Oh, damn it. This isn't good. Yeah. The Emperor has passed the next reform. So we're going to say no. But I think it already passed. Yeah. Alright. So our tax is up. I think that affects us and not just the Emperor. Um, maybe. Maybe that's just for the Emperor. I don't know. I hope that doesn't actually negatively affect us. Can we see in modifiers here? There's the Reich's Regimen. What's the newest one? Hofkrecht. We already had that, I think. Yes, Gurren High Judge, you're awesome. Here we go. Germaner Piffnit. I have no idea how to speak German. Whatever. Yes, we actually lost 5% tax from that. Screw you, Bohemia. You're not nice. Oh, boy. So, they are eventually... They only have four more reforms to do, so we might have to actually step in and fight them to make sure that they don't uh, form the Holy Roman Empire. Because if they do that, we are going to be absolutely screwed. Everything that's in the Empire right now will become Bohemia. Bohemia will just absolutely take all of this and we will be absolutely powerless to stop it <sighs> which means we will lose our capital if we don't fight them and if we let them do that they're gonna be way 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 too powerful to stop so probably when they try to get that last second to last uh, reform done which is this one it's going to cause all of them to become vassals everyone in the HRE but we can choose to not become a vassal and that means we'll be at war with Bohemia it's so probably Austria will refuse to do that. Hungary, maybe. Uh, Burgundy, for sure. And maybe some of the miners like uh, Switzerland or Naples may do it. So it's going to be it's gonna be World War I. Because World War I hasn't happened yet. But it's going to be World War I if that happens. So just be aware of that. We're going to have to try to make sure that Bohemia doesn't get too uppity. Because I really don't want them to just annihilate us. Because that would suck. Cumberland, we just killed them, but there's another revolt where we also killed a new revolt. Alright, so we only have 48 days to go. You guys are going to be replenished shortly, not really, but whatever. We don't need any. These guys are ready to go. Just waiting patiently now. Only 25 days to go. And our mission is to build a fort in Delaware. Do we want to do that now? Sure. I'm going to send a thousand guys to watch it. So that if Portugal does anything silly, we'll just beat them up and kill them. Alright, there we go. Narragansett succeeded. So at the end of this month, there we go. Colonialism on Portugal. Portugal probably has not many ships left. Where are you, Portugal? Portugal. If I do this alphabetically, it'll be easier. Portugal. There you are. Yep, still nine. How about armies? Portugal. 1,000 men. I think I can probably handle 1,000 men. So I think what we're also going to do is, once we're done taking these colonies, we're going to come over here, maybe take... Uh, I don't know about actually seizing some of this land, but we'll definitely try to take it over and we'll make them release someone. Like maybe we can get Fez here and uh, Tunisia. Maybe, uh, I don't know, someone down here. And maybe uh, we can make them release the Ottomans. That'd be cool. Because we have the Ottomans allied to us and we'd be able to have Alliance Casas Belli on all these people who tr then try to attack the Ottomans. So that is the war plan. It is the 1st of May, 1543, and we are going to war with Portugal. We are allied with Cyprus. Are you kidding me? They're allied with Bohemia. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Alright, all our vassals would join, but they'd all get annexed or just raped by Bohemia. God damn it. Well, 
we can't do that then. I mean, look at this. Bohemia is huge. Oh, man. How many people do Bohemia have? Let me guess. They're going to be at the top of the list. Yep. What do you know? 120,000 men. And they're not even at full. They can even get more. That's insane. Yep. Well, that dream was crushed in an instant. You're going to be all cool and be like, ha, this land is mine now. But then Bohemia flexed its muscles and was like, please don't kill me. And uh, we had to back down off that fight. We will definitely consider it. I'll check like uh, every other month. I don't know about that often. Maybe uh, once a year. See if they're still allied with Bohemia. And if they ever lose that alliance, we are definitely going to war. Because I didn't see anyone else that was important. So you two guys can come down here to Barahonas. And I guess we can send the colonists to Turks Island. And got fur and Narragansett. Which means paintings. And we have a missionary. Which we cannot afford to send. Damn. I really want some of these missionaries to succeed. Not only because it will convert these guys. Which will lower the chance for... It'll try to get rid of... Where is it? Religious turmoil. But it will also reduce the amount of money that we're spending on them. And it's not a ton, but I'd like to get rid of them. You know. Any kind of expense is bad if you have to pay over and over. That's why credit cards are bad. Come on. We build a town hall. Ooh, that is tempting, you know. Town halls are actually really good. Like, we can't build any, apparently, because we haven't built any churches anywhere. No, we're probably just... We just don't have enough money to build anything else. Okay. But uh, just so you know, town halls do this. 25% extra tax. Which, you know, at most places wouldn't be all that good. We're at like 25 here. It would only go up to maybe 3 or 4 at a maximum. But, you know, Lubeck? That center of trade we have with crap loads of people? Look at that. 25% of that. That'd be huge. So we're going to save some of our cash so we can build at least one of those in Lubeck, and probably two. So they are really good. Mecca is fighting. We're trading in ivory. And we need to reduce our military spending. Don't know why I didn't do that already. Not all the way down, because you have to explore. That should let us have a little bit of extra cash per month. And maybe we need to go explore. Back up to 100%. Go discover stuff. Turks Island succeeded. That's what I'd like to see. We actually, yeah, we're making money per month now. That's delightful. All right, guys. It has been wonderful talking to you today. We didn't do a whole lot, except we got that awesome event that added two stability to us for free, which gives all of these awesome benefits. We colonized Banda Oriental, which gives us our name stretched all the way across South America. We converted a couple of people in North America, and we sent a lot of missionaries there to try to convert stuff. And we were about to go to war with Portugal until we realized that they are allied with the biggest badass in the world. This has been episode 48. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going straight into 49.